They call it a trash and show, with pupils modelling outfits they've made from reused materials. Just one of many different activities at the Durham Federation in Ushermore this week focused on our environmental impact. Some children have drawn up posters demanding change. If we don't take action now, then this could all go wrong. So we need to take action now and get to saving the world, basically. It will affect our later lives and things like that. Obviously, we don't want the polar ice caps to be got done, um, gone. We don't want things like forest fires all the time. Right. Off you go. Okay. Geography teacher Suzanne Nesbitt put together the special curriculum, including a hunt for air pollution readings today. Yes, you can write down it's a vegetated area because you can see the vegetation. She recently completed a United Nations training course to become one of the UK's first climate change champions. I can now deliver up-to-date lessons with a lot more impact because it's got more up-to-date data and the students are getting a bit more benefit from it than just your standard greenhouse effect and things like that because it's personal to them. It all started because I was doing an enrichment session and the students were asking questions and it was clear that there was a need for the students and a want that they wanted to learn. Students here have written their own songs about climate change and thought about how to tackle it. We could try and find an alternative to plastic because that's um, a great increase in carbon dioxide which is affecting the planet and causing global warming. We could also try and switch cars to electric ones. When we're at a young age we know the impact of it and like how bad it is so we then we don't so if we drop something on the floor now we know oh if, if i don't pick that up something's going to happen our actions have contributed to environmental damage but here at least future generations are becoming more aware of the positive impact they may be able to make tom sheldrick itv news in ushermore